Well, it's uh, Tuesday the, the 6th of September and it has been terrible. It's been, this morning it absolutely hammered in with rain and uh, this afternoon, well, in fact all day, it's been blowing an absolute hole in again. It's just beginning to calm down now. Um, so, I haven't put my seat up to me. <laughs> Last time there was a gale on this peg, I turned out to put the camera, but the seat turned back and the seat had disappeared. And so, I put my seat up now, the rods are all ready to go in. And when I looked on the website, at, uh, upstream, there seemed to be a big influx of water coming in. The water at uh, Morton Bridge, the level at Morton Bridge, just suddenly shot up at about one o'clock. And it's now five o'clock here, and there's absolutely no sign of it. It's exactly the same as it was yesterday. So, how long it's going to take to get here, and how high it will be when it arrives, no idea. But, um, I suspect it will be here before the evening's out. Um, so I'll put a little stick in, and uh, see what happens to the level whilst I'm here. There might be some wind noise on this microphone, unfortunately, you know, just because of the way the wind is blowing. Um, nothing I can do about it. <laughs> anyway, hopefully... <coughs> hopefully we'll have a barbell on the back. We shall make a change, I've been blanked for the last two nights. This is James here, yeah. first year barbel fishing. He's just pulled out this superb barbel. It's a slightly ruggy dorsal. It's a lovely clean mouth, look at that. Beautiful fish. Lovely barbs. Yeah, superb. Well done, is all I have to say. <laughs> Well, it's now ten past seven, and the, uh, the pace of the water is beginning to pick up now. So it looks as if this water that was obviously at at one o'clock has taken six hours to get down here, and the river's just beginning to come up now. And uh, my friend James just had that wonderful fish. He's, he's had seven barbel, and three of them have been doubles. <laughs> which is a tremendous start to your barbell fishing life. Um, yeah, very excited about it, and quite rightly so. So hopefully, with the pace of the water picking up uh, in the next couple of hours, we, uh, we might get some action. A snag. I just have to sit there. It's on that bottom rod. Just keep your eye on it. See what happens.
river's coming up really fast now. It's come over about 18 inches since, uh, since about 7 o'clock. It's only 20 past 8. And um, the wind is back with a vengeance, as you can probably hear. So I will just absolutely bang in across the moon there, opposite. So uh, we'll just give it a, another half an hour and that'll be it. Well, it's time we're going now. Yeah, the river's coming up really fast now. It's come up a couple of feet in the last couple of hours. And, uh, there'll be a lot of rubbish coming down, so it's not a good time. It's a bit of a given with the air. But I suspect tomorrow there'll still be a fair amount of water in, we'll see. But for now, after that lovely fish of James is downstream, beautiful fish. And uh, that fish I had last knockings. We were with a couple of barbel on, and one caught in that snag, unfortunately, and managed to extricate itself and off. Left my hook attached to a great lump of wood. So, <laughs> that's fishing. But for now, I wish you a very good night, and we'll see you on the bank another time. Good night. Well, when I left last night, it had come up a couple of feet. <laughs> I've just come back on Wednesday, the 7th of September, and uh, it must be certainly up four feet, I would think. This is Top Cliff Weir. And if I swing round, What's left of the island? That little bush sticking out there. And you can see the wall on either side there. So it's uh, and it's going down. It's up a little bit higher than this earlier on. Now well, this is a peg I fished last night and where I was sitting is now underwater. <laughs> and I put a stick in down there which is about three feet long and it's disappeared completely. So there's a lot of water in here today. So I'll come and fish this peg and uh, see how we get on. Well the rods are ready to go in now, big weight. <laughs> and uh, I just stuck a little stick in there. Little stick there. And you see, the river's obviously going down. I just want to see how fast it's going down. It's been up about another six inches over what it is now. So. Anyway, ready to put in now. The river's about, kind of about between three and four feet, I would think. It's going down very quickly, and uh, we'll see what, uh, what comes of it, but very optimistic, as always. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll have a barbell on the back. Bit runner drags have to be quite tight today to prevent line from being pulled off the rail by the current and rubbish. So it's not a day for turning your back on rods. <laughs> off the backs. They'll be off. Um, so I'll sit quite tight to them. Clean mouth. Yeah, nice coloured tail. Yeah, I don't think it'd be about four or five pounds. Anyway, I'll put it straight back. 
and then we'd cast out to see if we can get another. Well, there's another second barbel. It has a nice clean mouth on it as well. And uh, it'll be about maybe about seven pounds, I would think. Maybe, maybe a bit more. So we've got two nice fish, and uh, I hope that takes on the video. <laughs> the other one might not be. But look at that lovely golden colour. Beautiful. Lovely tail. And, uh, it's beginning to lose that colour now. Fins aren't quite as brightly coloured. Anyway, I'll pop him back in. <laughs> Lovely, two nice fish. There you can see how far the water has gone down. There's the stick I put in and the water's down there, so it's it's gone down about four inches. And by tomorrow I imagine it'll have gone down a couple of feet. Well nice time we went home. It's uh, half past eight. And uh, we've got a couple of nice little fish there. No big wrap rounds, just the other rustle on the end of the rod. And it's quite difficult when it's flooded, you never know whether it's a piece of rubbish or whether it's a fish. <laughs> and I'm sure we missed some fish as a consequence. Nevertheless, a couple of nice little fish there. Uh, the rain held off, it's been quite warm, the wind has died away and uh, I'm on the way home now. So, thanks for joining me, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the bank another day. Hopefully we'll catch some more power for now. A very good night here. Good night. <laughs>